Three, two, one, ignition. All right, well, that was liftoff of Boeing Starliner all the way back in June on what was supposed to be an eight day mission, but which ended up leaving two NASA astronauts stuck in space. And now NASA is saying they will be there even longer. Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams will now not be back on Earth until at least March. That is 10 months after rocketing to the International Space Station. And Williams posing for a fun holiday picture here with another astronaut earlier this week. But that was also before the announcement of this latest delay. So let's bring in nation anchor Natasha Zuves, who is live. Uh, Natasha, what more are we learning about this newest extension? Yeah, extension is an interesting way to put it. Hi there, Nicole. These two stuck NASA astronauts will have to wait even longer to come home. And you'll remember their mission was originally supposed to last just about a week. It was extended to eight months. And now the latest update, their stay at the International Space Station will be at least 10 months. And we all know that when the going gets tough, and it often does, the tough get going. And you have. And Sonny and I are honored to share this dream of space flight with each and every one of you. Yeah, that was Butch Wilmore when all of this began, taking off strapped in in June, Boeing's first astronaut flight to the ISS. But issues with the Starliner capsule meant it was sent back empty. And now, NASA announcing the latest delay to get them home. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore will not return until the end of March or even April because of a delay in launching their replacements. You see, NASA prefers to have overlapping crews at the space station for a smooth transition, and a fresh crew was supposed to launch in February, allowing the pair to come home. But SpaceX needs more time to prepare a brand new capsule for the journey. Now, NASA says it did consider sending a different capsule so the pair could come back in February, but ultimately decided to wait for this new SpaceX capsule. The new logistics means more patience and more time away from Earth and their families. Elise, Nicole. All right, so, so Natasha, we know that they were only supposed to be away for about eight days. That has since been extended. How unusual is it to end up spending this long out there? It is unusual, Nicole. Most space station missions last about six months. Very few reach that year mark. I, I want to pull up this list we put together of American astronauts who hold these records. You can see Frank Rubio, 371 days. That's the longest. You can see Scott Kelly appearing on that list at 340. Now, Wilmore and Williams, as of today, are at 196. But, Nicole, if they stay until March 31st, that'll be 300 days. 300 days. Oh my goodness. All right, Natasha, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.